For three legislative sessions, West Virginia taxpayers have heard about the promise of tax cuts. But that promise never became reality until today. So News Channel 3's political reporter Curtis Johnson was at today's signing ceremony and tells us when the tax cut will hit your account. West Virginia's governor celebrating a milestone Tuesday. The state's first income tax cut in more than 35 years. More money in your wallet. The governor says a message to the world. We put our stake in the sand to invite any and everyone to this great state to bring their business opportunities to us, to bring their jobs to us, to bring their folks to us. It is an absolute monumental day. And with that, the governor's signature slashing your state income tax rate by 21.25%. But away from the balloons and celebration, I wanted to know, when will you see more money in your paycheck? For those answers, I went to the state's revenue secretary. He says your employer should have new withholding tables by April 1st. The good news is April 1st, that number's going down. So for nine months out of this year, you'll have a lot less withheld. But what about money already taken out of your paycheck this year? The revenue secretary says you'll get that money back when you file this year's return next year. The legislation signed Tuesday also includes a 100% rebate of your car tax for personal vehicles, a full homestead tax rebate for disabled veterans, and a 50% rebate on property taxes for small business. Those rebates kick in next year, 2024, and will be taken as a credit against your income tax when you fail in 2025. It's not just a tax credit, it's a tax credit or if you have already paid your taxes or you don't owe any taxes, it's a rebate. Curtis Johnson, WSAZ News Channel 3, Charleston. The Revenue Secretary estimates the income tax cut for just this year will put nearly $600 million into the pocket of West Virginians. When you add in the property tax rebate, the package will return more than $1.6 billion in tax cuts by July of 2025.